You're watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone, and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. So, I've got an old timer review for you today. Let's take a look at the box really quick. This is a Battenfield product. So, pretty recent uh, release here. There's the side of the box. There's your barcode. And then there's your model number. 97 OT. So what that is, is this. A couple of reasons I got this knife. Because you know, if you've watched the channel, I'm not like a huge Trapper fan. Don't have a lot of them. Uh, this is an exception. Uh, the reasons, I'll tell you. Firstly, it's more than just a regular Trapper. It's a buzzsaw trapper. And so the buzzsaw trapper has a saw blade that locks in as a frame lock. And for any little useful wood cutting uh, needs, it's like more than adequate. If you look at that blade, the serration on that is pretty nasty. So it'll. Nothing less than a saw. I mean, that's a legitimate saw there. And again, like it's a liner lock, so you just release that with that push over and then close the blade. Um, and your second blade is a nice long clip blade. Nice long clip on that. You can see the edge. The satin finish is pretty nice. And that cutting edge is pretty even. And has a nice, nice sharp point. I mean, that almost hurts just to do what I'm doing there. Certainly feel it. But more than that, so that, you know, those are your blades. But more than that, um, you know, you've got all the standard old-timer features. You've got your saw cut delrin handle you got the brass pins i think this is a brass shield it certainly looks like it i'd have to double check on that but this is nickel silver but they've given it a yellow tinge so it almost looks like it's brass but then a, <clears throat> some additional features is that you have this little little pick at the back i guess you could use it as a toothpick or you know whatever a pick would be good for and it has this little brass fitting on the back to with the uh, groove in it for your thumb like a nail nick essentially you pull it out of the back and then it fits just one direction so it's nice uh nice tight fit in there it's not going anywhere then the, on the other side you've got this cute little set of tweezers i don't know how useful they'd be but i suppose you could pull a splinter out or something right and they're probably not as stout. I know there's other old timer knives that had tweezers and they were a little better made. I've seen them, but uh, these are a little thin, not not as well designed. Uh, but uh, you know they'll they'll do for <coughs> they'll do in a they'll do in a pinch. <laughs> nice pun, I know. Um, couldn't resist, but uh, yeah, so different trapper you know it's just not your everyday thing let's look at the centering of the blades pretty cool and now you open this uh saw blade from the end it doesn't actually have a nail nick on it so it opens just by it being a little bit proud on that side and then you can just lift it uh, i don't know if that's necessarily always the case with uh saw blades i mean i guess I'd have to look at some of my Vitronox to remember if that's how that pulls, but uh, yeah, it's it's a little different than I recall, but maybe not. Um, maybe not. Maybe that is how they'd usually do those on Swiss Army knives. But in any case, I just think it's kind of cool because it's different, and I felt like it was a really good value because it's like twenty-two dollars for the knife, and you get this leather sheath as well. So for the money. You know, that's pretty tough to beat. You know, I figure the the sheath itself is worth $10. Or thereabouts, you know, maybe even more. It's genuine leather. And 
It, uh, you know, it's got a snap. Nice stitching. You know, it's not like the greatest sheath in the world, but it's, it's nice and durable sound, and it feels very durable. Um, may not be the most supple leather and, you know, the highest quality everything, but I, sh I sure think that $10 is worth $10. You got your <coughs> old-timer embossed into that leather there, and then the button says Shrade a couple times around. There's a good look at the stitching. And then the back, you've got, you know, this fitted loop which you know probably wouldn't fit like the widest belt but you shouldn't have a problem with an average belt sliding through there and it's nice and and taut so it's not going to be flopping around which is nice i don't like the knives that, that get these things too loose and they just kind of slide everywhere but uh it's got this nice angled which is nice because that way it doesn't catch on stuff so easily. I like that as well. But just a snap. And yeah, that that might... The inside of the button might snag something. But I've had I've had uh, sheaths like this in the past. And what I've done is taken a piece of felt, adhesive back felt, and I put it right here. And then it just covers that rough edge up. And you can just slide your blade in there and out of there without... You know, your knife in and out of there without worrying about scratching it up. I'm being kind of careful because I don't want to do just that, but it fits in there pretty nice. Nice. See that that's pretty tight over the top of the blade, so that has no wiggle at all. I mean, I can't feel it wiggling at all, so it fits pretty perfectly in there. I want to make sure I pull that out right. Yeah, so. But there you have it. Schrade Old Timer 97OT Buzzsaw Trapper Toothpick and a pair of tweezers. You get your saw blade and a clip blade and a nice sheath to carry it in that'll attach to your belt. All for about $22 on Amazon. You can pay a little more on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I think they want like twenty six to twenty eight dollars somewhere in there. And I think Chicago Knife Works was around twenty three. So you might not want to get it at Smoky Knife Mountain Knife Works. They seem to be a little bit higher than maybe they should be. But uh, that's gonna do it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. Something a little different. Um, don't know how many trappers I'll be uh, reviewing on this on this channel, but. Uh, this is one I thought worthy of the cause. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a nice day. Take care.